After the early morning address, President Muhammad Buhari led a federal government delegation to the Eagle Square for an Independence Day parade. Well, the last time the ceremony held at the Eagle Square was in 2010 after the administration of former President Gundok Jonathan. The event witnessed an inspection of guards by President Buhari, which was followed by march pass in slow and quick time. There was also march pass by power and military organizations, agencies and the Nigerian police force mounted troops. Also on display were military equipment march passed on low loaders and an aerial show by the Nigerian Air Force. Uh, the, also present at the event was the Vice President Yemi Ushimbajo, Minister of Defence Manta Dan Ali and the Secretary to the Government of the Federation, Boss Mustafa. Extremely excited about the prospects and the future of our great country. And I think that, you know, just looking at the displays today and looking at the competence and capability of, of our military, you know, there is such great hope and such great excitement. So it's a, it's a fantastic time for our country and we're all very hopeful, we're all very uh, expectant of a greater and much greater future for the nation. Today you have seen what the military, a Nigerian military has done and they have showcased what they have and they are capable of maintaining the territorial integrity of Nigerians. I feel very, very uh, delighted because this is the time that where I have shown where the Nigerian money has been spent for. We should be grateful to God that we've been able to celebrate in such a manner that we did. In the last one week, we've lined up activities telling Nigerians that prosperity is returning to this country, peace is returning to this country. And President Muhammad Buhari has been able to demonstrate that. You heard from the commentaries of the armed forces that virtually all the armaments you saw today are things that we have acquired in the last three and a half years. So it means, it presupposes that in the last decades, nobody was paying attention to arming the armed forces. That's why the crisis have deepened. But I can assure you that with the result and the determination of the current leadership, we will get to the root of this and deal with them effectively so that we can secure this nation. People can now be able to pursue their different enterprises, prosper in whatever they want to do, and there will be calm and peace in the country.